Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, my name is Ashley. I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant as of yesterday. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the items I got for my baby registry. I did not plan this video out at all. I was just like, I'm gonna film this. So if I'm all over the place, I apologize in advance. I'm gonna be out of breath because if you have been pregnant or if you're currently pregnant, you guys know in the third trimester, you're out of breath all the time for no reason. I got myself a little snack. I got some water just in case I need that. And we're just gonna jump into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually the little bag that I got from the Amazon baby registry i'm trying to make sure everything is in here i think it is this is the bag that the amazon registry welcome kit comes in so there was a swaddle in there i do have a couple of other swaddles on the registry though they were not purchased yet but they're still on there i heard every baby is different so depending on your baby is going to determine what kind of swaddle your baby likes i'm gonna have to figure this out but yeah there was a swaddle in there there's some coupons that come in there different coupons for cetaphil cerave baby items there was a sample of the water wipes in there, a sample of the baby aquaphor, a couple of Smarty prenatal vitamins. Did I take my vitamins today? I did, I did. I was gonna take those just because. Uh, there's a doctor, I think it's Dr. Brown's? Dr. Brown's, Dr. Brown's um, pacifier in there. A sample of the CeraVe baby moisturizing cream, that. There's a Dr. Braun, Dr. Brown's. I keep wanting to say Bronner's for some reason. The brand of the soap, a Dr. Brown's baby bottle in there, the anti-colic one. One of those were in there. A sample of the Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo, sample of the Johnson's wash and shampoo, and the CeraVe wash and shampoo. There's also coupons for those items as well. So if you like them, you can purchase them with the coupon. So that's that. Oh, actually no, there was a onesie that came in. Yeah, the onesies are here. And there's a onesie that came inside of the, um, the welcome kit as well. So this is the onesie for three to six months old. So that was in there as well. I'm not gonna go in any particular order of items. I'm just gonna grab the items and show you guys. So this I have not opened yet, but I know what it is. It's a giraffe robe <laughs> for the little baby. This is what the robe looks like. It's so soft and snuggly. I don't remember what size. Oh, zero to nine months. This is so soft. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. He's probably gonna be like, mom, why? Just why? Oh, there's a box of diapers. Actually, all the diapers and wipes that I got from the registry are right there. So I definitely need more because yeah. <laughs> My registry will be linked down below if you guys wanna get me some baby wipes and diapers because as you guys can see, I need them. But then there's also this box right here. I'll put that with those. I have those other ones that I got from Target. If you guys seen my other video, baby shower haul, you guys will see the diapers that I got from Target. But that's all the diapers I have, so I definitely need some more diapers. And then I have a pack of Gerber all white onesies. These, I think they're all the same size, three to six months. Yeah, all three to six months. The all white Gerber onesies. Those there. And then this is the baby's first years. It's a lasting memory book. Let me open it up and show it to you guys. I haven't seen it yet. A lot of the stuff I just kind of put in here and I didn't get a chance to look at it yet. This is what the book looks like. It's gonna take me too long trying to explain what's in this book, but this is very cute. So that's the baby's first year book, first year's book. I'm gonna put it back in here for now. I put a humidifier on the registry because I know that that's really good for if the baby is congested. I was thinking about opening up the other day because I was super congested, but I never did. So it's a pink humidifier. I couldn't help myself but to get a pink one because it's like pink is my favorite color and then I happen to be having a girl. If it would get out the box, I'm not gonna fully open it. I just wanted to take it out so you guys can see it. This is a safety first humidifier for the baby. And these items, I'm gonna have them linked down below for you guys as well, just in case any of these items you guys wanna get for yourself or put on your own baby registry. So I'm gonna link those down below for you guys as well. Oh, there is more diapers. And then I think these are long sleeve onesies. But yeah, these are the long sleeve onesies. I think I got these for an older age because when the baby's first born, she's gonna be born, yeah, she's gonna be born when it's still hot. So around six to nine months, she's gonna need some items that are long sleeve. So that's why I picked these sizes. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know why I thought that this was a zipper kind because I've heard that the ones that have the little buttons like this are pain in the behind, but that's okay. These are super cute. So there's that one and this one. And then I put one of these shopping cart slash high chair covers on the registry because I'm not judging anybody for what they choose to do with their baby. And I know, I know, I know that the baby's immune system needs to be built up naturally. And I'm all for that. But it's just something that just grosses me out when I see a baby with its mouth just like on a shopping cart. Maybe they disinfected the shopping cart, but I don't know. But something about it, I'm just like, because I see how nasty people are in the grocery store picking their nose, touching stuff like that. So yeah, this is a shopping cart, shopping cart cover slash high chair cover. Maybe I'll just put a picture of it on the screen. Like some of the items, I'll put the picture of it on the screen, but that's kind of what it looks like when you put it in the shopping cart. And then what is this? 
Oh, this is the ink pads from the baby's first born. I think there's a few, yeah, there's a few of them in there. So you can use them for different stages and ages, but this is a little kit so you can do the baby's footprints. The papers you do them with comes in this little box here. You can do the footprints and the hand prints and keep those as keepsakes. So there's four touch pads and then um, 12 art cards, like 12 cards for you to do different prints with them. And then this one is the Fisher Price Kick and Play. I haven't opened this up yet. Let me open it. I think it is one of those things you kind of need to put together. Yeah, I need to put this together. So I'm gonna film a separate video of me putting together all the bigger baby items. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'm gonna link that video somewhere once I post it. So you guys can watch that if you're interested. But yeah, this is a piano kick and play. Maybe I'll put a picture of it right here so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. And then this is my breastfeeding pillow. My cousin is the one who told me to put this on the registry because she wanted to get it. Originally, I had one of the ones that are like the boppies on there, but she's seen this one and recommended it for me. It has like a back support on it, it's more sturdy or firm. So, I mean, this isn't the best angle, but you put it around like this, like so, and then you strap it like this. And it's like, look at that. Like it has like a really firm surface for when you're breastfeeding. And I think that's gonna come in handy and it has like a little pocket right here. I think I have it, yeah, I have it on upside down, but you guys get the gist of it. <laughs> I love the color of this, this is so cute. And I think you can take the cover off too if you need to wash it. Yeah, I had it on upside down, it's supposed to go like this. But this is my breastfeeding pillow. And this is my car baby camera monitoring kit. The monitor goes on your on your dashboard and then the camera goes in the back. I know people have mixed feelings about these, but I feel like it's gonna give me a peace of mind when I'm driving and it's just me in the car because I'll still be able to see the baby. I don't wanna feel stressed out while I'm driving. Oh, these are not actually off the registry, but I just have them over here. So I'll show them to you guys. This is a book that my sister-in-law sent me. It's a breastfeeding book. Her mother-in-law is actually a midwife and she recommends this book for all new moms that are gonna be breastfeeding or that plan on breastfeeding. So this is the woman, the womanly art of breastfeeding. I'll try to find it on Amazon and maybe link it down below for you guys if I can find it, just in case you're interested in that book. And then I got this other little book. It's a head to toe, head, shoulders, knees and toes. That little book. Shoulders. Winnie the Pooh book, a little baby book, just because why not? I got some diaper rash cream or ointment and diaper rash paste. These are the Up and Up Target brand ones. These were from my Target registry. So I got those. Now I have some bottles, some baby bottles. So I got different types of baby bottles because I don't know exactly what she's gonna like yet. These are the Como Tomo bottles. I've heard these are really good. All the, the bottles that I chose to put on the registry are bottles that I did a little bit of research on and I heard that they're good. So I put them on there, but we'll find out what she likes best once she's here. So this comes with two bottles in here. Oh, that's a flexible bottle. I didn't expect it to be like that. But that one, there's two of these in here. And I need to sterilize everything and wash all the baby clothes. I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> and then these diapers, I mean these diapers, these bottles are actually the bottles that my brother and his wife uses and I did feed my niece while I was there and I really like these bottles I hope that my baby likes them too but I really really like these bottles these are the Philips Avant natural bottles I really really like these theirs weren't pink but I couldn't help myself but to put pink ones on the register and I also got some more of the the Dr. Brown's anti-colic ones like the same one actually that came in the welcome kit from Amazon but these pink as well. I'm a sucker for pink stuff, especially since I'm having a girl. I, I get to do that. I get to have fun and be annoying and get a bunch of pink stuff. And it came with um, another pacifier in there as well. These are not from the registry. These are actually, if you guys seen my gender reveal video, these are actually from that tiny little clothes. What size did I get these in? Zero to three months, perfect. Cause I'm like, I really don't have any tiny clothes right now. Like most of them are like three to six months. And I think I have one set of newborn clothes. And I was just like, but I know that people say don't buy a bunch of newborn clothes, but I'm like, she needs a couple items when she's first born, right? <laughs> These are so cute and tiny, perfect. This is the onesie set that I got to go with it. Zero to three months as well. This is whenever I was surprising him with the gender of the baby. So I got those three. That's perfect because I actually, I was getting a little worried that I didn't have any. I'm gonna, I need to get some more though. Oh, these are, I think these are pacifiers. No, teething. these are the teething thingies. Teething penguins, whatever you want to call them. These, I've seen a lot of good reviews on these. And then I actually was watching, I don't remember whose video I was watching. They said they really, really love these and their babies love them. But yeah, they're supposed to put their little hand through there and then they can gnaw on the little, little teething area. So this comes, it's a pack of two in there. Oh, this one's nice because it has extra little ridges on it too. So when the baby's teething and in pain, that'll be 
like a nice little massage for her. These are so cute. Why, why, are, why are baby things so cute? Like baby items are just so adorable. This is the non-contact thermometer. There's no point of opening this. It's a no contact thermometer for the baby. So I can check her temperature if I need to. This is the Mom Cozy Stroller Organizer. It's universal, so it should be able to fit on stroller that I got. But yeah, this is a little organizer so you can put items that you need in here. There's two cup holders, like a middle insert part. There's a zipper right here so you can put items in it. It comes with extra straps too. You hang this on the side of the stroller that you're pushing. I know the stroller comes with those things, but I seen someone else recommending these and they said that it's super helpful just having that extra little storage whenever you're out running errands with your baby or if you're out in a walk, decide to go to the park, you have extra space to store your items inside of. So I got two of the Drift baby laundry detergents, some baby washcloths, because of course we're gonna need those for baby's bath time. And then I got the um, Aquaphor wash and shampoo. It really wants to focus on my face so bad. So that one. And then I've seen so many good reviews on this. This is the Angel Care bath support baby tub. When I say I've seen so many good reviews on this, I've seen so many good reviews on this. I ended up buying it for myself because I kept seeing it go on sale. It's like, I couldn't help myself because it was originally $40 and then it went on sale for 20 bucks. And I'm like, I'm buying that from the registry. But yeah, so this is the little baby tub. I also got the Philips Avant Fast Bottle Warmer. I've heard this is really good too. I know some people say you don't need it. You can just run hot water on it or warm up some water on the stove and put the bottle in there. Ew, my lips are peeling. I hate when my lips get that white line. My lips have been peeling so bad lately. Like, I don't know if it's pregnancy. I don't know if it's because the weather changed. I don't know what it is, but my lips have been peeling like crazy. It's not just a lip gloss, it's literally skin. It's my shirt, mind your business. But yeah, so I got that. Now that's everything for the smaller items. Now these are, these items are gonna be items that I'm gonna show you guys the pictures of because I'm not gonna open these up right now. I'm gonna open these whenever I do the video of me putting them together. That's when I'm gonna open these. So this is my Graco stroller. It's a green one. It comes with a stroller and a car seat in one. And then I got the, the Pommel Babe Pack and Play. That's the pack and play that my brother and his wife uses as well. They've had it since their first baby and their first baby is three years old now and they're still using it now. It has like an area where you can do diaper changes up top. It has like adjustable levels so when the baby is small, she can sleep in there. When she's older you can use it as a playpen and they said they got a lot of use out of that so that's the one i put on my registry and i'm grateful that somebody actually got it for me the Graco simple sway swing that's the one that my brother and his wife uses as well i asked them a lot of questions about what to use what i need what i didn't need and they recommended that as well because that's the one that they use their baby loves it super grateful for that and then also i know i'm not gonna need this right away but it's the um the slim stacker high chair for whenever it's time to start feeding her that's so exciting i cannot wait for that it's gonna be such an exciting moment to like feed her her first item. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be some sort of fruit. I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing research though to see what the best item to give a baby as their first food item is, but I'm so excited to meet her. Like really, we got less than eight weeks left. Anywhere from eight weeks, possibly 10 weeks, depending on if she comes early or if she comes late. That's so exciting. I forgot to show you guys, but this is actually, I'm gonna just show you guys a picture of what it is. This is wall decals for the nursery, but yeah, I'm not gonna open it because it's rolled up nicely until I need it. I also completely forgot that I got my baby bassinet for the bedside. I'm super grateful for this. It's the Mika Mickey bedside bassinet. I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here so you guys can see what it looks like. But I completely forgot that I got this because it was on the other side of the camera. But yeah, I'm really hot. Comment down below if you guys are already parents and let me know if you guys think I need a crib or not. I don't know if I need one. Everybody has mixed feelings about cribs. Like some people use them religiously. Some people don't use them at all. and end up throwing stuff in it. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys think I actually need a crib. It's still up in the air. I have one on the registry just in case. Okay, you guys. So if you guys want to see the video of me putting together these larger items, it'll be linked down below. It'll be somewhere on the channel if you guys want to see that when it's posted, excuse me. But yeah, if you guys did like this little video, this haul of what I got from my registry so far, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to gift me anything or bless me with anything else for the baby, I will have my registry link down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so you guys can see all the new baby slash mommy content that I'll be posting in the eventual near future. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.